What's up, you guys? Welcome in to KJ's Corner, and playoff football is here. We just wrapped up Wild Card Weekend. Tampa Bay Buccaneers advance. Houston Texans advance. Eagles are going home. Kansas City Chiefs playing the Bills. It was a really, really exciting weekend. But one team that really stood out to me in the Wild Card Weekend was the Green Bay Packers. Damn, y'all put on a show. Went in to Cowboys country, went into Jerry's worlds and just whooped their ass. Had Jerry Jones up there looking all sad. Had Dak Prescott looking all sad. Got people calling for Mike McCarthy job. Just ruining everything over there in uh, Dallas, Texas. And so I really, really love how LaFleur really just made this offense explosive. Jordan Love, you the real deal, young man. You are the real deal. Let's put this Aaron Rodgers talk behind us. Get this shadow off of him. J-Love is on the scene. He's making big time plays. Let's just go over these numbers real quick. We're talking 16 for 21, 270 yards, three touchdowns from Jay Love. Let's go to this running game. Aaron Jones, welcome, welcome to the season, Aaron Jones. I've been, I had you on my fantasy team, and you, you know, we'll, we'll get that later. But um, Aaron Jones, 21 carries, over 100 yards. He had three touchdowns. And in this offense, you guys' best receiver is Jay Reed. He had zero catches. Zero catches in this football game. So what that tells me is other guys are eating when it comes to this offense at the receiver position. Dobbs came through. Christian Watson, Christian Watson can still be explosive down the football field. And so I just love what I saw from these guys. But you're going to San Francisco this weekend. And um, we know how talented this San Francisco 49ers defense is. You got Nick Bosa. You got Greenlaw. You got Fred Warner. You got some guys that could really play some football. What the Green Bay Packers have to do is repeat this same type of success that they had last week. And these plays that we're about to go over, I'm telling you, facing a Niners team like this that's coming off of a bye week, we know they're fresh. We know that they have an extra time to watch film. You really got to be creative and you really got to be explosive to expose this Niners defense. And so we're going to go through J-Love. We're going to go through this running game and saw what they did well and how they can really, really come out and go to the NFC Championship game with this offense leading the charge. So let's just start off with my guy, Jay Love, play action game. This is one of his best features. The play action game, the run game was doing his thing, but he has a play action game right here. Now just watch Love as he moves in the pocket, doesn't get rattled, he has a little bit of pressure, keeps his feet moving, but his eyes are staying downfield. His eyes are staying downfield while he's avoiding the pressure. Let's just go to it. We got 12 personnel. That's two tight ends, two wide receivers. Play action. Watch him move. Michael Parsons takes the inside move. I scramble to the outside, but I don't get rattled. I don't lose my poise. I have a defensive lineman right in my face, but look at where his eyes are. Look at his presence in the pocket, delivering a beautiful pass right down the middle, 40 yards downfield, first down Green Bay Packers. And so we know that when you face this Niners defense, these guys are trained, listen to me, they are trained to get off the rock, get off the rock every single play. And if it is a run play, you play the run on the way to sacking the quarterback. And so they're trained to get off the rock. And so you got to understand that it's going to be some pressure. It's going to be guys in your face. But keep your eyes downfield and just wait till these receivers get open. Really love this ball by Jay Love. Now, this play, they ran at least, I counted, at least eight times. They got in 12 personnel, and they ran what I call a stretch cut. So when you hear me say a stretch cut, it is a stretch running blocking scheme up front by the lineman, and it's a cut by the tight end on the right side of your screen. So watch this play, stretch cut. They ran this play to the cows came home last Sunday versus the Cowboys. Now, so let's watch. Alert, 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 alert. So watch what this play does to the linebackers. If you look at number one here, he's outside. You got a middle linebacker here, another linebacker and a safety coming down in the box. So what this does for the defense is creates issues with where are my run fits 
where do I go when this tight end goes to my defensive right? And so watch all these guys. Watch number one. He comes inside. Number 14 falls back a little too far. And Jenkins, out of Mississippi State, handles business with the defensive lineman right in front of him. And so all you have to do is understand that a guy could potentially lose their gap. A guy could overrun the play. Aaron Jones, you just got to find daylight, young man. Find daylight. Watch his stretch, stretch, stretch. And as soon as they put up the stop sign right here, put up the stop sign with his defensive lineman, now I got to find daylight and just hit the crease. Really, really good design by LaFleur to run this type of run concept because this is a nightmare for linebackers and safeties to handle. Let's go back to Jay Love. Brings the guy in. Watch his feet. Watch his footwork. I'm scrambling outside the pocket. I go back inside the pocket, but look at where his shoulders are, guys. Look at where his eyes are. He doesn't lose track of his receivers getting open. He keeps his eyes downfield. Most quarterbacks, most young quarterbacks, they start looking at the pressure. They start looking at the white jerseys in their face. He is not rattled, not one bit. He is not rattled at all. And you tell him he have a Nick Bosa that he has to face. He has a Chase Young that he has to face. He knows that there's going to be pressure. But what you have to do is trust your offensive lineman. Trust your footwork. Trust your training. And trust that your wide receivers will get open eventually down the football field. Right down the middle, first down Green Bay Packers. And so let me tell you guys something about defensive players that gives us nightmares is, hey, we can't cover forever. Hey, guys, come on. Y'all got to get the quarterback. So these guys can only cover for so long, and he finds this second window in the offense to get an explosive play. Really good play by Love. And now, here we go. Once again, 12 personnel. Y'all, look at this throw by Jay Love. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is best throw of the game, hands down. This is his best throw of the game. So here we go. We got a boot. He rolls out to his left. Look at the way that he flips his hips. He's rolling, he's rolling, he's rolling. Look at the way he flips his hips, throws the ball where the receiver is going, and puts it only where his guy can catch it. Let's just admire that right now. Let's just admire this. It's a play action. I'm booting out to my non-throwing hand. I flip my hips and just whip it out to my guy to catch the football. Hands down, his best throw of the game. And he had a lot of good ones. But this one right here, he put it on the money right where his guy could get it and the defender couldn't touch it. Now let's just go into the football IQ, the X's and O's when it comes to Jordan Love. What do y'all think he's checking right here? Just a question. What do y'all think he told this tight end that he saw in this football field? No? No? I'll tell you. So what he did was he's checked because he saw that this was zero coverage. When you hear me say zero coverage, there is no one in the middle of the field. There's no safety to cover guys if they get beat deep. So he sees that there's no one deep. Hey, tight end, come in, come in. You block this defensive end. So I know that it's one-on-one -on -one across the board. All my guy has to do is get wide open. And so just the football IQ from Jay Love, one-on-one -on -one with my receiver, I'm taking that all day, every day. So look at what he does. He sees the coverage. Tight end, you don't go out for a pass. You stay in here and block so we have enough guys at the line of scrimmage to handle this zero pressure. So let's see what the Cowboys do. They bring everybody except for the safety that's covering the tight end. Now, look football one-on-one. -on -one. What this safety should have done is rushed through that wide-open gap and told this defensive end, hey, if the tight end does release, you take them. But we all know that defensive ends aren't trained to cover tight ends. We know they're not trained to cover guys. And so he's in no man's land, which opens up the receiver to get wide open, not wide open, but open in the end zone for a touchdown. Really, really, really smart play by Jay Love to see they have zero pressure. Hey, come in, block, block, block. It's one-on-one -on -one across the board. All my guy got to do is catch the ball that I throw to him. I like what I'm seeing.
I really like what I'm seeing. All right, so let's go back to this run game. Christian Watson comes in motion. Look what, look what a simple fly motion from Christian Watson does. Look what happens on the back end. Gilmore's going, safe is communicating, linebacker shifting over. It just creates chaos on the defensive side of the football. One simple motion, look what it does to the rest of the guys. Hey, you go here. No, I go down. You go to the post. Look what that does. Now, you got the tight end that cuts as well. We talked about the stretch cut. Let's see it from the back angle. So Christian Watson comes in motion. Now watch number 81 right here. 81 should be in everyone's visual key. And they see him, but watch 33 right here. Watch what he does. He comes way too far past where the run is going. Let's watch number 14. He doesn't come at all. So 33 is going too far. 14 isn't coming at all. Look what that does for Aaron Jones. Foot in the dirt. Walk into the end zone, young man. So look at what this run does that LaFleur is drawing up. Fly motion, Christian Watson. I'm going to bring him to my left. Then I'm going to bring another guy to our right. It just cause way too much confusion for the linebackers, for the safeties. All you have to do, offensive linemen, just block the guys in front of you, and we A-OK. -okay. So I'm telling you, just the design by LaFleur, just the presence from Jordan Love, is really gets me optimistic that the Green Bay Packers can go on the road playing a San Francisco 49ers team who's coming off a bye week and come out there with a win. I can really, really envision that. All right, here we go. Similar. Look at these guys communicating. What one little motion does, they're communicating. You're here, you're here, I'm here, you're there. Brings an extra guy in the box. So they motion the tight end, and then he cuts back. Look at it. Look at number 14. Look at this guy right here. 14, you got to come to the party. The safety. Number six, you got to come back with the tight end. And so LaFleur understand that these guys' run fits aren't on point. These guys don't understand where to fit. He knows that a Dan Quinn defense is trained to fall back with the tight end. He understands that clearly. And what I'm seeing out here, they don't have linebackers. They got one linebacker, and the rest of these guys are safeties. So he took full advantage of their depth. He took full advantage of guys in unfamiliar territory. He scouted the heck out of these guys. So once again, <laughs> they kept running this play, and it worked at a really, really high level. Alert, alert, alert. Once again, guys, you got to understand that he's alerting for a reason. What is Jay Love seeing right here out of this play? When he comes to the line of scrimmage, he simply sees, oh, I got four guys to my left, and it's a light box to my right. So alert, alert, alert. Everyone's on the same page. Look at this right tackle pointing. Look at the left guard. Jenkins pointing. Everyone's on the same page and where we're running this football. They're communicating at the line of scrimmage. And so he checks it. Stretch to the right. <laughs> Boy. Watch Jenkins. Let's just admire the big boys up front. Watch Jenkins pick up their best defender in Michael Parsons. They run a stunt with him. They know that if Michael Parsons is off the football, chances are he's going to blitz. Watch him pick it up, a hat on a hat. This safety here, who's supposed to key blitz, they ran Phil Gut here. So if this safety is supposed to read out of this blitz that he's running, pick him up, nothing but green grass in front of Aaron Jones. So we got to remember that Love checked to this play for a reason. He saw a wide open A-gap in front of him. Let's run a stretch to the right side of the defense and get another explosive run. All right, so when you're facing this San Francisco defense and you get into the red zone, you have got to find a way to come out with six points. Three points, uh, way too many times is not going to cut it because you know that their offense with Brock Purdy, with Christian McCaffrey, with Debo, them guys are going to put up points. And so when you get this far down the football field, find a way Get love on the move, get them to create some vision, and find a way that you can be explosive and get six points in the end zone. And so right here, they have the same type of run concept that they've been running all game, a stretch with the tight end coming across the line of scrimmage. But off of this, they have a pass play off of it. Look at 
this young man. Look at this throw that he decided to make. He's rolling out to his right, okay? He's throwing across his body with the defender right there in the window. Just the confidence, just the swag, just the way that he's playing with just so much poise. Look at this, rolling to his right and coming back, throwing it across his body, dropping a dime to Dobbs for a touchdown. And so all game, he was playing at a high level. All game, he was in full control of what was happening on the football field. We're talking 48 points that this team put up facing the Dallas Cowboys. Understand, when you're facing this Niners team, they have a goal as well. They watching this film as well. And so they know, oh, they're going to run this concept. They're going to run these plays. And so just these type of plays that Jordan Love made on this football field, he has got to find a way to repeat that same type of success. You're going on the road, playing a team that's just coming off of a bye week, a really, really talented defense. Let's see when we turn on that tape, LaFleur, how can we find a way to expose a chink in their armor? How can we find a way to expose their secondary? How can I make sure that Jordan Love has another big time day and that this run game is in full control like they were against the Dallas Cowboys? So I'm really intrigued to watch the film and see what they do when they face the Niners because this offense can get it done. This offense has every single piece to the puzzle to be explosive and to take over and win over there in Santa Clara. So Jordan Love, let's see what you can do. But right now when I turn on the tape, this offense is on fire.